In this video, we are going to evaluate limits of trig ratios. I will use the limit of a trig ratio that has already been proven. Recall that the limit as theta approaches zero of sine theta over theta is equal to one. I have already proved this limit in a previous video, so if you're interested, be sure to check that out. We also know that the limit as theta goes to zero of theta over sine theta is equal to one. We know this because since the limit here does not equal zero or infinity, then when we take the reciprocal of the ratio, we can just take the reciprocal of the limit. Let us look at our first example. We want to evaluate the limit as x approaches zero of sine of three x over four x. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches zero of, I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction by three. So this will be three over three times sine of three x over four x. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches zero of, now I'm just going to exchange the four and the three. I'm going to write the four here and the three here. So this will be three over four times sine of three x over three x. And now I'm just going to pull out three fourths. So this will equal to three over four times the limit as x approaches zero of sine of three x over three x. And now I can use this limit here. Three x in this case will be theta. So we have that this is equal to three fourths times applying the limit that's going to be one. So this is equal to three fourths. For the next example, we want to evaluate the limit as x approaches zero of tangent of three x over sine of eight x. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches zero of, I'm going to separate the fraction here. So this will be 10 of three x over one times one over sine of eight x. And now I'm going to rewrite tangent in terms of sine and cosine. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches zero of sine of three x over cosine of three x times one over sine of eight x. And now I'm just going to separate this fraction. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches zero of sine of three x over one times one over cosine of three x times one over sine of eight x. Now we see that we need a eight x in the numerator here and we need a 3x in the denominator here so that we can apply this limit here. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by 8x and by 3x. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches zero of 3x over 3x times 8x over 8x times sine of 3x over 1 times 1 over cosine of 3x 
times one over sine of eight X. So this is equal to the limit as X approaches zero of, I'm going to put three X here. So we have three X over and my 8x here will go here, so that's going to be over 8x times sine of 3x over 3x times 1 over cosine of 3x times 8x over sine of 8x. And now our x's here will cancel, and I'm going to pull 3 over 8 out. So this will equal to 3 over 8 times the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 3x over 3x times 1 over cosine of 3x times 8x over sine of 8x. And now we can simply apply the limit. So this is equal to 3 over 8 times the limit as x approaches 0 of 3x over 3x will equal to 1 times, we can go ahead and directly plug 0 in for x here. So that's going to be 1 over cosine of 0 times the limit as x approaches 0 of 8x over sine of 8x will equal to 1. So this is equal to 3 over 8 times 1 times cosine of 0 is 1, so 1 over 1 is just 1, times 1, and anything multiplied by 1 is itself, so this is equal to 3 over 8. For the last example, we want to evaluate the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine of x all over sine of 2x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the numerator. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine of x over sine of 2x times 1 plus cosine of x over 1 plus cosine of x. And now when I multiply through here, we're going to FOIL. So this will be the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine squared of x all over sine of 2x times 1 plus cosine of x. Now we can use an identity. Here we know that 1 minus cosine squared of x is equal to sine squared of x. And we know that sine of 2x is equal to 2 sine of x times cosine of x. So this will equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of sine squared of x over 2 sine of x cosine of x. And that's multiplied by 1 plus cosine of x. So if you're interested in which identity I used, we use the Pythagorean identity here, and we use the double angle identity here. Now one of our sine of x in the numerator will cancel with our sine of x in the denominator. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over 2 cosine of x times 1 plus cosine of x. Now we can simply 
plug zero into X. So this is equal to sine of zero over two times cosine of zero times one plus cosine of zero. So this is equal to zero over two times one times one plus one. And of course, zero over anything is just zero. And that is how you evaluate limits of trig ratios. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.